Hi everyone. Welcome back. We're in the greenhouse and it's, it smells like plants in here, Matt. <laughs> some growing. It looks like we uh, definitely missed some carrots, that's for sure. <laughs> I think not all the carrots came up. So I noticed the scarlet nantes that we planted in here are coming up just perfectly. Like every little spot's coming up. But the other ones, the atomic red and the danvers, definitely have spots where they are not coming up. Are we planting at the most ideal time of year? No. So um, pretty hot for them germinating. So I'm pretty happy with how they did. Will we uh, fix it like last time where I said we were going to fill in the spots? Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> so while well, Matt is busy watering, we've got the tomatoes coming up here. A few of us have, a few of you have been asking about how we have them pinned up. And I would not say this is the most ideal way to clip up our tomatoes. We have them clipped kind of around the arch of the greenhouse. And this worked for the fact that we had carrots coming up in the beds and we didn't want them on strings coming straight up and blocking everything from the carrots. So it worked in that sense. We definitely have a smaller tomato production because of it. I also want to try something new next year. I think we plant on the edge of the bed this way and then have a string going down from the ceiling. And I think that'll create our wall for this side and this way this side will get some shade too from it the canopy but then they won't get entangled in the plastic so back when we pulled all those greens out of here it was because we had aphids i mean the greens were on their way out anyways but it was because we had aphids we went ahead and sprayed down soaked down this whole area pulled almost everything and then i can't remember if we already had our kale plant or if we planted after but we've been eating our kale and we're starting to notice aphids on it. So watering it down, soaping it down, it's kind of what we're doing. I'm not sure if we're better off just picking it all. We need to get greens planted in here for the winter months and it just, not ha it just has not happened yet. down in our garden, our arch of cucumbers. <laughs> See some really big cucumbers on here. They're still growing, but if you can tell the bottoms where you know the plant is actually growing out of, we are having a lot of damage. Those cucumber beetles are taking out our plants. We're trying to get to them every night, but it's just not quite enough. So the little bit of cucumbers that we did get off, we had some fresh, and then Sarah pickled some, fermented some, and it's just a bummer. This beetle is just kicking our butt. So we've talked it over and I think next year we're not gonna do any cucumbers and hopefully that'll help get rid of a lot of the cucumber beetles. Yeah, much to my dismay, I think that's gonna be the answer, which means these beautiful arches won't have cucumbers on them, but it's been a hard couple years. Um, they, they have not been full for years. And I don't know, I don't know if it's, a coincidence it started around the time we started doing the Parisian pickling cucumbers but man they taste so much better um, we did do some Armenian yard long this year and I need to double check if they need to be can you see this how big it is um, a full yard long but that thing's looking ready so I'm excited to kind of see how those taste the cucumbers we did get of them are doing really really well 
those ones don't seem affected by the beetle at all. Let us know down in the comments what do you think we should plant on these arches. I'm leaning towards pole beans even though I kind of despise pole beans. They take longer than bush beans and we haven't had good luck with them. But that's what I'm leaning towards but if you have any other great ideas leave them in the comments below. So tomatoes have been just rocking. This is the volunteer one and well more than one it's a couple of plants actually but they are just cruising along and some of them are romas and the other ones we don't know where they are. I know those are romas because they look like a pear coming out right now. All of these tomatoes are doing really good. We've actually never had an issue, I wouldn't say until last year, where they're almost, they're getting to the point where they're too tall of top of this, or too, too, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're too tall above the trellis. So I'm gonna have to raise this up. We never had to do that in the past because they just never, they only got about this tall and then we'd fold them down and we there's so many that are tall that we can't just start folding them all because it won't work so we're gonna have to just let them lay down on themselves but i'd say overall they're doing really good we have a ton of green tomatoes they're not turning red yet but it's getting close all the beans that i put in over here the plants are growing but no beans yet same with the ones over by the garlic these ones are coming in really good we were out here yesterday and what we did is we went ahead and picked our fourth picking off our original bean plants. So those original plants are in right here. We picked that fourth picking off of them and then we pulled all the bean plants and gave them to the pigs. For the most part, you could tell they were done producing at the end. We had a few blossoms, but not really much of anything. And that's kind of what we've been seeming to get. Um, I believe those were mostly contender beans and then some of the red swan. I could tell the red swan could have gone a little bit longer. Um, but then I planted one more round of beans in here. I'm not sure that we'll get a ton off of them before our season is over. But I'm hoping that that will be at least some where we can save. Most of what's planted here is beans we saved from last year. So just being able to keep producing those seeds for ourselves will be great too. So the... Peppers down here have been doing really good. We've also got rain the last two days, well, two and a half days, and a lot of rain. As you can tell, the pig pen over there is pretty wet. So that's been helping really nice, but I also have been doing something without even telling Sarah. Now, these two plants, or these three, I should say, because this is where the marker was, these three, I water two times with that liquid fertilizer and I would say these plants are doing better than the rest of these. So I am guessing that this is just a nitrogen fertilizer fix and I don't think it's shade. Because the more and more I'm down here during the day too, in the sun we get sun, or in the morning excuse me, we get sun in the morning all the way up until it's somewhere around two o'clock and it shades because of the big tree, but then the sun comes back again until the evening. So I think it's just a fertilizer. So what I'm gonna do is next fall, I'm gonna start from this post and all the way down, I'm gonna put all the chicken poo from the chicken coop straight in here and let it sit all winter long and see if that helps. So we did finally pick our first big head of broccoli out of here this week. And then I noticed we're getting more and more little heads. So Broccoli is definitely coming in. I haven't noticed any cauliflower heads yet, so hopefully soon. So this was our first sunflower we planted that went to flower. The volunteers, they all went to flower already, but <clears throat> what I think is interesting is we actually cut the heads that died off of the volunteers over there. We gave it to the pigs, and they didn't even care for it. They didn't eat it. Now the chickens, when we toss it to them, they tear them things up, the pigs with feathers. But our pigs just won't eat the sunflowers. I don't know what it is. It was funny. Close her out, Matt. Why don't you close it out? Because I did, opened it and talked it. <laughs> you didn't talk it. I talked, I talked some it. too. <laughs> I talked some too. I talked it in. How did you say that? Matt, I'm tired. Well, hope you guys liked the video. I'm glad you guys see us again. Bye. <laughs>